I was listening to the voices of life, chanting in unison, carry on the struggle. The generation surged together in resistance to meet the reality of power. Mother Earth embraces her children in natural beauty to last beyond oppressor's brutality. As the butterfly floats into life, we are the spirit of natural life which is forever. The power of understanding, real connections to spirit, is meaning our resistance, our struggle, is not sacrifice lost. It is natural energy, properly used. One time, I was visiting with my relatives, the clouds, the mountains, the sky, the trees. My relatives touched my spirit, nudged it lovingly. Listen to us, impatient one. We are forever. You must remember the gentleness of time. You are struggling to be who you are. You say you want to learn the old ways. Struggling to learn when all you must do is remember. Remember the people. Remember sky and earth. Remember the people have always struggled to live in harmony, in peace. Struggle against selfishness and weakness so the people may live as nations. The old ways are hard. The people have always had to work together. Remember, impatient one. Remember and live. Do not be afraid of truth. Respect, discipline, share your life so the people may live. Honor sky and earth. Honor yourself. Honor your relations. Remember, impatient one, the gentleness of time. Grandmother Moon, you are more than light in the night. You are more than the moon. You are spirit connection. Your energy is our life. You are memories to generations past. You are the creator of sensations that will always last. You are the knowledge, the teacher, the influence to keep the people sane. You are a healer for spirit pain. Grandmother Moon, we love you. And we are angry at the invaders who trash you and violate our universe with their mechanical uncleanliness. We pray for you for us and for the invader who just can't comprehend respect, love, or the balance of life. We do not join the invading madness. From the way they act, it speaks of spirit sadness. Machine money progress is the cause of our common abuse. We see you, grandmother. We feel you. We love you. We know through your reality we will endure. We are one. We pray for you. We pray to you. Grandfathers whispering in the wind. Rejoice at the life you are a part of. Natural energy bound to natural laws. You will survive this temporary madness imposed upon you. Natural life is longer than oppressors' illusionary insanity. Spirits experience human deeds but need not end. This is just one place of changes. Spirit life is forever if you want. The universe is your home. You can survive here. Do not let them kill you. Keep your spirit strong. For distant stars and distant drums are the memories of spirit infancy. Children of Earth, let the spirit live so you can grow in your place in the universe. Last rush in Babylon. Voices catching up. Voices catching up. Watch out, child. Watch out, child. Babylon falling down. Falling down. Society a broken promise. Economies war, citizen whores. Political pimps leaving us flat on our backs. Trading today, waiting for the promised land. Roles playing roles. Covering every day's fear. Going off to work having the job done on us, 
in the eyes of God building the bomb, loving thyself, hating thyself in the illusion. Voice is catching up, voice is catching up. Watch out, child, watch out, child. Babylon falling down, falling down. Caligula laughs loudly through time, twisting love to get at the sexes. Class is material consumed. Designer worlds create electric impulses, turning down life, the real goodbye. See it in our face, see it every place. Last rush in Babylon, voices catching up, voices catching up. Watch out, child, watch out, child. Babylon falling down, falling down. Arms race, jackboots pounding earth, military precision dissecting elements of life, taking apart instead of healing, generals and gods, fascists and oil wells, man images and machines, petrochemical societies trying to hide the sun, jackboots pounding earth, creaking leather boots, dead cows crying in a world turned to a planetary slaughterhouse. Wandering amongst the opulence, wondering what not to touch. Times not knowing, times getting bit. Times of temptation, times of seduction. Wandering in the poverty, touched by everything, knowing the bite. No time for temptation, only time for doing. Babylon in terror, world run over by machines, the economics of captured dreams. The rich are the poorer, while the poor are waiting. Everyone pretending to live, calling exploitation progress, calling submission freedom, calling madness profit, calling Earth a plan et, plaguing her with civilization. Alone, we see you in your loneliness. Sometimes we wonder which is lonelier, being alone together or being lonely alone. With no protection that you know of, principles replaced by nothing. The lies becoming desperation. Outrageous violence, internal and external, forming distractions from life, making the loneliness a new type of alone. Alone with your machines, alone with your fear, alone with your oppressor, alone with roles played, alone from the past, alone from the future, stranded in the universe, separated from earth, sun, moon, sky, with only God to comfort you while he sanctions war and greed. Messengers clubbing you, heavenly threats and promises, a basis for exploitation of everything, even yourself, giving up together, surrendering, alone. Brown earth color woman takes me into the secrets of her size. When I step into the brown of her eyes, I find sight of special dreams, fluttering eyelashes and fluttering hearts, dancing in magic no one understands. When I step into the brown of her eyes, I find the comfort of a friend, a friend sharing shelter when only a friend can know to. When I step into the brown of her eyes, she teaches loving through caring, snuggling softly in my heart, helping me to just feel good. When I step into the brown of her eyes, the mysteries are different from confusion. The illusions are handled by seeing through. Clearly there is life ahead. When I step into the brown of her eyes, brown earth color woman takes me into the secrets of her size, gentling me in a balance of passion. Smiling into eyes, hungry for smiles. You take me where I want to be. 
You're my heart taker. You're a brand new day, bringing me in view of the sun. I see the sunrise in your laughter. I hear the forever songs in your kiss. I feel the future in your beating heart. I abandon loneliness for your embrace. You're my heart taker. Come to take my heart before it fades away. Blending into my dreams, showing me secrets of life. Holding my hand in the universe, you put together a breaking soul. Smiling into eyes, hungry for smiles. Enchanting today with your magic. Tomorrow can't help but to be good. You brought the world back to me when I thought I wanted to drift away. You're my heart taker, taking me to joy. Gentling me during a life storm. Lifting me between the clouds and the sky. Bringing me in view of the sun. The first time your eyes caressed mine, to say it was like magic is to tame the gentle passion and moments shared in the seeing of a glance. You took my hand and opened my heart to the beauty of what I did not see. I tried to understand why and how these things happen, but you explained so much with your laughing eye to make me not waste my time worrying or wondering is this meant to be. The first time your eyes caressed mine, the wind sang their songs. The sunshine shivered with joy, warming the life within me. Tender love and sheltered moments, blowing my mind from the beginning. I was drifting through, trying, trying to live a life. Good things happening suddenly. When the days were dark, you brought the sunlight nights, touching me in your being. Tender love and shelter moments. You were fame, you were fortune. You were peace, you were vision. Things I thought I wanted and things I really needed. Blowing my mind from the beginning. Your kiss melted the night. Beauty burned in forever fires. Heartbreak, heart beating wild. Flaming love, sparks and stars showering the world. Tomorrow is today is yesterday. In your kiss, time didn't have a chance. Tender love and sheltered moments. Blowing my mind from the beginning. I was drifting through, trying, trying to live a life. The children laugh, the old ones laugh. The newborn cry, the elders weep. The knowledge of infants and elders, separated only by years. Adulthood lost to growing up fear, the only security being insecurity, changing crying to weeping. The wisdom of infants and elders, crying and laughing, weeping and laughing. Songs in the beginning, sung in the end. Endure, the people cry out. Tears of anger, tears of sorrow, flowing, giving birth to resistance. Young ones to remember. Struggle, for the people cry out. Tears of happiness, tears of joy. Washing the pain, cleaning the spirit, giving strength. The generations remembering the past to rebuild the future. For weeping is another way of laughing and resisting and outlasting the enemy. Living in reality, calling us red Indians, we have been the colors on a chameleon's back. Changing with time, altering the larger pattern, surviving genocide because we have to. Living in reality, we are targets of your unfairness. With warriors for targets, you create your own destruction. This is how we bring you down. Target by target, you wound yourself. Using your greed, we watch your spirit fade. Living in reality, we can endure your cages, your bullets, your lies, your confusion. 
We know you have destroyed your peace. Living in reality, you only exist. Diablo Canyon, today I challenge the nukes. The soldiers of the state placed me in captivity, or so they thought. They bound my wrist in their plastic handcuffs, surrounding me with their plastic minds and faces. They ridiculed me, but I could see through to the ridicule they brought on themselves. They told me, squat over there by the trash. They left a soldier to guard me. I was the Viet Cong. I was Crazy Horse. Little did they understand, squatting down in the earth, they placed me with my power, my power to laugh, laugh at their righteous wrong. Their sneers and their taunts gave me clarity to see their powerlessness. It was in the way they dressed and in the way they acted. They viewed me as an enemy, a threat to their rationalizations. I felt pity for them knowing they will never be free. I was their captain, but my heart was racing through the generations, the memories of eternity. I was beyond their reach. I would be brought to the internment camp to share my time with allies. The last time I saw them, they were standing in their 12-hour shifts, addicted to their chain of command, waiting to be told what to do, forgetting about me, thinking I was just another protester they were finished with. Never understand it. I am not finished with them, for I am the resistance, and as always, I will return. It took the times we didn't care about living to learn survivors survive whether they want or not. It took the pain, the grief, and the dying to remember what gets forgotten in the living. It took the lessons of a thousand generations to get through the time of yesterday. It took the joyful songs of laughter to last beyond today into tomorrow. It took the fragrance of a woman's touch to realize brothers and sisters are never alone. It took the joining of earth and sky to create, centering the universe. For Ronald America, this time I almost wanted to believe you when you said it would be all right. You wanted to end the suffering, and the deliberateness of the wrongs were only in my imagination. This time I almost wanted to believe you when you implied the times of sorrow were buried in the past. Never would we have to worry about shadows and memories clinging and draining the strength from our souls. This time I almost wanted to believe you when you spoke of peace and love and caring and duty and God and destiny. But somehow the death in your eyes and your bombs and your taxes and your greed and your facelift told me, this time I cannot afford to believe you. Industrial slave, Industrial slave, capitalist and communist imperialist, smiling with false faces, beckoning us with their lies about progress, wanting us to enjoy the rape of earth and our minds. Industrial slave, forked tongue legalistic contract chains, turning our visions to technologic nightmares. National security war makers desecrating the natural world, and God still trying to get over what you've done to his boy. Industrial slave, Material bound, law and order, religious salvation, individually alone, industrial slave. Without earth there is no heaven, streets of gold, angels wings, eternal life, corporate Reich nuclear regimes maximizing profit, eating identities, plundering natural allies as though earth is dead, allowing religious right collection plate tributes to church and state, with Christ still hanging from a cross, echoing industrial war cries, warring against body and soul, attacking spirit, lying to enslave with an illusion about freedom. Without earth there is no heaven, earth and sky, universal power, life energies creative flow in which we are a pattern to keep balance, harmony, a gift, and appreciation to enjoy. Honor life, without earth there is no heaven.
little daughter. You are so small for a big woman, so soft for someone who must be so strong. Little daughter, I hold you in my arms, I laugh and am happy at your baby girl smile. To say I feel good is not enough. Little daughter, I walk with you through the dimension called time. For what are minutes, days, or years compared to father-daughter places in eternity? Little daughter, you the delicate infant child, carry the innocent reality. I pray for your protection, prayers to help you through this life experience. Little daughter, the times I hold you next to me, I am flowing in infinity of love to fill the times I cannot hold you next to me. Little daughter, I am always with you, even when you cannot see me there. Sister, sister, I want to talk to the woman in you. We're under siege in a troubled time. Sister, sister, won't you hear my voice? I'm your brother, but I've made the mistakes of a man. Sometimes it's lonely being a man. The programming has its effect. Isolation is such a cruel thing. Sister, sister, won't you understand? They took your brothers, turned them into men. Like they took our sisters, turned them into women. Sister, sister, we are all the family of Earth. They have taken us away in their nuclear war, taught us to compete and abuse and blame each other while we're all being used. Sister, sister, hear my heart. It's time to bring the family back. Together we must remember Earth. We must remember what life is all about. Sister, sister, I am your brother. Every time I've ever hurt you, I've always hurt myself. Sister, sister, hear my voice. It's all up to us. We have a choice. Crystal clear tears of salt come when my heart talks with sadness. The tears flow my emotional rivers. It's no damn use to pretend. Pain will not rise again. Crystal clear tears of salt help my heart to feel for something when I do not want to. Clear my vision, see my peace. Men don't cry. Indians are stoic. I tell that to my heart, my eyes, they just laugh at me. And sometimes when my spirit hurts, they make me cry. Crystal clear, tears of salt. Purify my memory. Help me understand. This is not the beginning, nor the end. For my children, to the people I can talk. When it comes to you, I know what to say. It's I just don't know how. I love you, that's not a question. Showing it has been confusing. My life has drifted, always. Somehow I could just never stay. I've rationalized I'm headed to a goal. Yet sometimes my heart hears me running to a future. Always from the past. I love you, don't want you hurt. I want you to realize your potential. I've always been afraid to interfere. My bias, my prejudice, my doubt, the weaker sides of me. I had to protect you make you stronger. Compassion is to be your companion as you head to your destiny. I've tried the only way I knew. Please try to understand. I didn't know what else to do. And I love you. Yesterday's laughter is the balance for today. Today's tears are the cleansing for tomorrow. We started out so long ago. There was no one to teach us what we had to know. The days were ours. The times, they were extreme. We did our best and we did our worst in the constant struggle to understand why. Illusions and fantasies battering us, teaching us the hard way, forcing us to find a right way. Shelter and comfort coming where we found it. Constantly moving, it was like being chased by something we did not understand. Many are the times we could have just laid down and died, but the will of life helped us to survive. As we traveled through life with yesterday's laughter, the balance for today, and today's tears, a cleansing for tomorrow. Young ones, listen. Remember who we are. Remember where we are. Do not take the word of America. Listen to them as in caution. Live among them as in surrounded. Live not as they live, live to appreciate. 
Seconds ago in eternity, ancient ones decided, way before wounded spirits, dreams shattering under aggression. Earth is mother, we are children. The protection is our innocence. Seconds ago it was decided, we are the middle of forever. Look for your medicine. There is a white world gone mad, thinking protection is in force. Greed, the machine, preys on them, but they will not admit it or do anything about it. They have no medicine, with backs turned on children and elders. They do not even care for air, or water, or land, or life. Too confused to care, there's no way to live. Young ones, listen. Remember who you are. Remember where you are. Remember why you are. trying to forget. The hardest part of trying to forget is the remembering forgetting brings back. I thought you were like the things that have happened, things and thoughts I'd put away. But you are you more than can just be put away. How frivolous of me to assume I could regard you as a thing or a thought. Trying to forget only makes me remember emotions we share in our spirit hearts. The delights and the anger so vital our wildness making us quick to burn bridges behind us and ahead of us. Changing compromise to submit. Looking for happiness, finding regret. Sometimes you appear. It's in a song, a phrase. Sometimes it's a laugh. Sometimes it's a vision of you near to me. Or a remembrance of a touch, a kiss, or some silly thought we shared. Times are I wonder what went wrong. Maybe our impatience stopped us from taking the time to learn what we thought we already knew. Trying to forget only makes me remember you. When you left, I knew you had to go. Water came into my eyes, I cried, then I laughed. Because sometimes I just don't know. I wanted you to stay, but you weren't really here anyway. Or if you were, it was for just a while. I've run it through my mind and rerun it through my heart. I loved you more than I could say or show. Like I say, I loved you more, but that's something only I could know. Water came into my eyes, I cried, then I laughed. What's the difference anyway? Laughing and crying, the tears taste just the same. I held you, but I didn't hold you. And in the end, I guess, I only kept myself. Her beauty is like a dancer in the night, carrying rhythms others can only imagine. Everyone wanted her, yet no one kept her beyond a fleeting moment when all seemed right. She left on her own, driven away by what they had to keep to themselves. He was one of those thinking to claim what others took long ago. They could never share the secrets, for their secrets are shame's mistakes kept quietly. Making noise only when crashing down upon them like invisible walls. Not able to stand on their own when they sold beauty for things their hearts never understood. Pretending what others could not see was connected to reality. They made it easy to believe, but almost impossible to live. Together they traded depth for surfaces. Trading until they traded it all away for misunderstandings. Her beauty is like a dancer in the night. Carrying rhythms others can only imagine. Everyone wanted her, yet no one kept her beyond a fleeting moment when all seemed right. I went so willingly, thinking about knowing the beauty of your face. Your smile, your charm, dazzled the sometime broken eyes. Your spoken thoughts of love and laughter placed the chains around me so tightly I didn't know at first. I went so willingly, thinking about knowing the beauty of your face. Things went wrong, they often do. You grew to need me less. I went into 
needing you more. One day seeing we were both in a pretty prison. All I could do was escape. I went so willingly, thinking about knowing the beauty of your face. Like a butterfly with a fading heart, she needed someone to care for her. When she couldn't find it, she ran back to the mistakes. Anger and uncomfortably comfortable emotion greedily spread over those who love her. Safer than taking a chance. What we try to hide, we never can, beyond placing it in ourselves. Wounds voluntarily inflicted, creating our own betrayal. Worrying about being used as we use up our time, scaring away the balance. Mental M16s mowing down the enemy. Insecurity turning trust into targets in a battle we don't understand with industrial greed to victor. Like a butterfly with a fading heart, she needed someone to care for her. All that was left were the pictures she took, capturing the past in a prison, not unlike the one they locked themselves in. She said goodbye the other day. Loving him was lonely, lonely as she'd ever been. Her life was standing in a space where laughter was a disguise she wore as a shield to protect the world. She said goodbye the other day. Her feelings couldn't be helped. It wasn't anything he'd done. It was just that the prisons building around her separated even him from knowing laughter was a disguise she wore. She said goodbye the other day. She felt out of place, looking for a place. Her American dream hadn't prepared her for this. She felt programmed somehow. She had to find the way to where laughter is real and disguises aren't necessary. All that was left were the pictures she took. The ones who knew me, I would like to thank you for putting up with what I never could. It seems the extremes were more than I could bear. Your patience taught me so much. Too many times I learned too slow. At times the understandings were beaten down by insecurity. Your acceptance really was something. The times I hurt myself, bringing it all down on you, you reached out with love and tolerance. You were always there when I needed. You steadied me gently, carrying me into each new day, changing names, changing faces, supporting me, keeping me going. At times they were kind, they were polite in their sophistication, smiling but never too loudly. Acting in civilized manner, an illusion of gentleness always fighting to get their way. While the people see, the people know, the people wait, the people say, the closing of your doors will never shut us out. The closing of your doors can only shut you in. We know the predator. We see them feed on us. We are aware to starve the beast is our destiny. The times they were kind, they were polite, but never honest. We see your technological society devour you before your very eyes. We hear your anguished cries exalting greed through progress. While you seek material advances, the sound of flowers dying carry messages through the wind trying to tell you about balance and your safety. 
But your minds are chained to your machines And the strings dangling from your puppeteer's hands Turning you, twisting you into forms and confusions beyond your control Your mind for a job, your mind for a TV Your mind for a hairdryer, your mind for consumption With your atom bombs, your material bombs, your drug bombs, your racial bombs, your class bombs, your sexist bombs, your ageist bombs, devastating your natural shelters, making you homeless on earth, chasing you into illusions, fooling you, making you pretend you can run away from the ravishing of your spirit, while the sound of flowers dying carry messages through the wind, trying to tell you about balance and your safety trying to isolate us in a dimension called loneliness, leading us into the trap, believe in their power, but not in ourselves, piling us with guilt, always taking the blame, greed chasing out the balance, trying to isolate us in a dimension called loneliness, economic deity seizing power, through illusions created, armies are justified, class systems are democracy, God listens to warmongers' prayers, tyranny is here, divide and conquer, trying to isolate us in a dimension called loneliness. Greed a parent, insecurity the happiness companion, genocide conceived in sophistication, technologic material civilization, a rationalization, replacing a way to live, trying to isolate us in a dimension called loneliness. To God, we hope you don't mind, but we would like to talk to you. There are some things we need to straighten out. It's about these Christians. They claim to be from your nation. But man, you should see the things they do all the time, blaming it on you. Manifest destiny, genocide, maximized profit, sterilization, raping the earth, lying, taking more than they need in all the forms of the greed. We ask them why. They say it's God's will. Damn, God, they make it so hard. Remember Jesus? Would you send him back to them? Tell them not to kill him. Rather, they should listen. Stop abusing his name and yours. We do not mean to be disrespectful. But you know how it is. Our people have their own ways. We never even heard of you until not long ago. Your representative spoke magnificent things of you, which we were willing to believe. But from the way they acted, we know you and we were being deceived. We do not mean you or your Christian children any bad, but you all came to take all we had. We have not seen you, but we have heard so much. It is time for you to decide what life is worth. We already remember, but maybe you forgot. Look at us. Look at us, we are of earth and water. Look at them, it is the same. Look at us. We are suffering all these years. Look at them, they are connected. Look at us, we are in pain. Look at them, surprised at our anger. Look at us, we are struggling to survive. Look at them, expecting sorrow be benign. Look at us, we are the ones called pagan. Look at them, on their arrival. Look at us, we are called subversive. Look at them, descending from name callers. Look at us, we wept sadly in the long dark. Look at them, hiding in technologic light. Look at us, we buried the generations. Look at them, inventing the body count. Look at us, we are older than America. Look at them, chasing a fountain of youth. Look at us, we are embracing Earth. Look at them, clutching today. Look at us, we are living in the generations. Look at them, existing in jobs and debt. Look at us, we have escaped many times. Look at them, they cannot remember. Look at us, we are healing. Look at them, their medicine is patented. Look at us, we are trying. Look at them, what are they doing? Look at us, we are children of Earth. Look at them, who are they?
At times they were kind, they were polite in their sophistication, smiling but never too loudly. Acting in civilized manner, an illusion of gentleness always fighting to get their way. While the people see, the people know, the people wait, the people say, the closing of your doors will never shut us out. The closing of your doors can only shut you in. We know the predator. We see them feed on us. We are aware to starve the beast is our destiny. The times they were kind, they were polite, but never honest. We see your technological society devour you before your very eyes. We hear your anguished cries exalting greed through progress. While you seek material advances, the sound of flowers dying. Carry messages through the wind trying to tell you about balance and your safety. But your minds are chained to your machines and the strings dangling from your puppeteer's hands, turning you, twisting you into forms and confusions beyond your control. Your mind for a job, your mind for a TV, your mind for a hair dryer, your mind for consumption. With your atom bombs, your material bombs, your drug bombs, your racial bombs, your class bombs, your sexist bombs, your ageist bombs, devastating your natural shelters, making you homeless on earth, chasing you into illusions, fooling you, making you pretend you can run away from the ravishing of your spirit. While the sound of flowers dying, carry messages through the wind, trying to tell you about balance and your safety. Trying to isolate us in a dimension called loneliness, leading us into the trap, believe in their power, but not in ourselves, piling us with guilt, always taking the blame, greed chasing out the balance, trying to isolate us in a dimension called loneliness, economic deity seizing power, through illusions created, armies are justified, class systems are democracy, God listens to warmongers' prayers, tyranny is here, divide and conquer, trying to isolate us in a dimension called loneliness, greed a parent, insecurity the happiness companion, genocide conceived in sophistication, technologic material civilization, a rationalization, replacing a way to live, trying to isolate us, in a dimension called loneliness. To God, we hope you don't mind, but we would like to talk to you. There are some things we need to straighten out. It's about these Christians. They claim to be from your nation. But man, you should see the things they do all the time, blaming it on you. Manifest destiny, genocide, maximized profit, sterilization, raping the earth, lying, taking more than they need in all the forms of the greed. We ask them why. They say it's God's will. Damn God, they make it so hard. Remember Jesus? Would you send him back to them? Tell them not to kill him. Rather they should listen. Stop abusing his name and yours. We do not mean to be disrespectful. But you know how it is. Our people have their own ways. We never even heard of you until not long ago. Your representative spoke magnificent things of you, which we were willing to believe. But from the way they acted, we know you and we were being deceived. We do not mean you or your Christian children any bad, but you all came to take all we had. We have not seen you, but we have heard so much. It is time for you to decide what life is worth. We already remember, but maybe you forgot. Look at us. Look at us. We are of earth and water. Look at them. It is the same. Look at us. We are suffering all these years. Look at them. They are connected. Look at us. We are in pain. Look at them. Surprised at our anger. Look at us. We are struggling to survive. Look at them. Expecting sorrow be benign. Look at us. We are the ones called pagan. Look at them on their arrival. Look at us, we are called subversive. Look at them descending from name callers. Look at us, we wept sadly in the long dark. Look at them hiding in technologic light. Look at us, we buried the generations. Look at them inventing the body count. Look at us, we are older than America. Look at them chasing a fountain of youth. Look at us, we are embracing earth. Look at them clutching today. 
Look at us, we are living in the generations. Look at them, existing in jobs and debt. Look at us, we have escaped many times. Look at them, they cannot remember. Look at us, we are healing. Look at them, their medicine is patented. Look at us, we are trying. Look at them, what are they doing? Look at us, we are children of earth. Look at them, who are they?